Hello, my name is Robin Small, and I come from Western Canada, British Columbia and Alberta to be exact. I used to own my own compounding pharmacy in northern Alberta, where I worked six days a week, 10 to 12 hour days, and often thought about, if not go, went in on Sundays to check on things, because of course things had to be, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't survive without me. That was my workaholic mindset. Anyway, I learned a lot, and I, I'm appreciative of the lessons I've learned from the, those uh, years and the experiences, uh, um, you know, experienced, and um, the uh, talents acquired, like in teaching and holding seminars and creating and formulations and and all kinds of chemistry stuff. However, um, there came a point when uh, I just needed a change, and so. I was my main passion in life is uh learning. I love learning. It's I think it's one of the philosopher's uh, main goals of life and enjoyments is to uh uh to to con continuously learn. And uh, to me visiting another country, living there, uh learning uh the culture, meeting the people, uh enjoying the weather and uh enjoying the delicious food, those are all amazing um ways to learn. Not to mention visiting the temples and the wats um, and the geography and the different uh, uh, nearby countries all make it very intriguing to check out a, a new continent, a new set of countries. So I have been in Chiang Mai, northern Thailand, for approximately 10 months, going on 10 months, and I thoroughly enjoy it. Again, the, the weather is beautiful, the people are beautiful, the culture is beautiful, um, the food is delicious and low cost. Um, instead of working 60 to 70 plus hours a week, I probably work three or four hours a day and uh, make twice the amount of money I need to really survive. And um, I'm sure there are people out there that want to learn exactly what I know now, and that's why I'm here. Uh, it, it's also part of my my income stream, but I assure you uh, I make at least $1,200 US a month teaching English online to students all over the world on Skype. And that, I can teach you how to do that, how to prepare before you come over. The, qu the many questions I had before I came over to, to um, uh, the new, uh, my new country of choice was, uh, first of all, which country should I go to? Which city in that country that I choose should I go to? My two cities were Medellin, Colombia, or Chiang Mai, Thailand. Chiang Mai mainly because uh, it's only a million people, not like 9 or 10 million, which is down in Bangkok. Uh, and it's away from the oceans uh, because I like the mountains and uh, slightly higher elevation and cooler, cooler climate and, and more more trees and stuff. Uh, Medellin, Colombia ended up being a slightly more expensive and probably more dangerous in my in my research opinion. The other questions I had was how was I going to earn a living and how much money should I bring over to begin with? Uh, so. In the following videos, I will talk about uh, each one of these and in, in, uh, probably give it individual attention. And um, um, I came over here with the ability to teach English. I had my TESOL and, of course, a university degree, which gave me a lot of it gives me a lot of credibility. Um, uh, the other questions I had was, uh, what was, what do I need for a visa, and how do I maintain the visa once I'm over here? Um, when do I leave? Where should I stay initially? Should I stay in a motel, hotel, hostel? Um, should I just get an apartment right off the bat or should I wait a while? Um, what kind of banking should I do? Should I just use my debit card? What are the fees? Uh, can I do interbank transfers? Uh, can I get a local bank account? What are the requirements of that? Uh, what's the currency like? What's the currency exchange rate? Uh, is it safe to have a lot of their currency or should I keep mostly US dollars or Canadian dollars? So there's so many questions, uh, and that's why I'm here. I followed a blog personally for a year, year and a half, on the two cities I was interested in. And uh, that's how I did a lot of my, my learning and research and scouting out, and it really did help me. But in your case, for a, a simple fee of uh, one to three to five dollars a month, you can tap into this knowledge resource and learn very quickly. In fact, I have uh, 15 really cool GoPro videos of the f of 15 top attractions, from ziplining with the gibbons to uh, walking in the river with the elephants, 
to uh, you know the Songkran Water Festival for three days uh, in April, to uh, um, many many other ones like at least a dozen other ones like I mentioned. Uh, it took me over a hundred hours of uh, taking the film and editing and adding music to it. And in fact, I learned a valuable lesson about adding uncopyrighted music to uh, 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 very quality video in that you can't monetize it on YouTube. Uh, so again, I'm learning as much as um, you are in my own ways every day. So it cost me also about $3,000, including GoPro equipment and entrance fees to these parks where the elephants are and the zip linings are to actually be able to film and edit it as well as the equipment cost. So what I'm trying to say is the GoPro videos alone are worth it. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun and there's uh, literally, um, you know, a couple, almost almost an hour to two hours of really cool music uh, and video, or I should say video set to music that, that you'll get a kick out of. In addition to that, uh, I plan on presenting um, a new video approximately every three days at a minimum. So that's two to two to three times a week minimum. And often I think it'll almost be daily uh, uh, because there's so much to talk about. Uh, not only how to teach, do you teach in a classroom? How much does it pay? Do you need a work visa? Uh, do you teach online? Do you need a work visa? How much does it pay? Uh, should I do it before I come over? Should I do it after? Can I do it after I come over? Um, uh, can, is there other ways to earn an income? Um, uh, the other stuff um, uh, that's, uh, that's so important um, is, um, I just drew a blank here, is stuff like your medical shots and advice as to what shots should I get, what medications should I bring over here initially, is malaria dangerous, is you know yellow fever dangerous. In a way, that my background helps us with that, although I always fall back on the old caveat of ask your doctor, because you know that's that, that is their job. But I do, as a as a previous drug expert, I have a lot of uh, residual expertise I can point you in the right direction there. So um, I would love to have you on this. Uh, journey with me as I create these videos or more videos to add to my GoPro videos. And um, rest assured, if you have any questions, you can email me anytime as a su subscriber. Ask me any questions as a subscriber, and uh, I will be glad to uh, help you in any way I can. So without further ado, I'm just going to say this is my cool entry to www.patreon.com. I'm excited to be here. I hope you're excited to be here. Oh, by the way, that thing on the wall behind me is a Chinese Dao, um, they call it Lick Man P in Thai. Uh, it's, it's like, a, um, well, Katang, I think, in Japan, but it's a, it's a sword. It's a really cool sword. So one of these days I'll talk about that too and uh, a little bit of other things I've come across while living in beautiful Thailand. Just rest assured, you may be in a in a North American city with a cold climate, stuck in a dreary job, working long hours, feeling burnt out. Maybe you're retired. Maybe you're almost ready to be retired, uh, and you have a lot of questions, and you're literally afraid, uh, fearful to make that next step. What will your family think? Um, uh, what will you think? Um, I'm here to help answer those questions or at least give you some guidance as to uh, what you should consider when you make the choice to, to make that leap. All I can say is nine times out of ten, it's going to be worth it. Um, and I encourage you to, you know, do your homework, do your research first. And for one, three or five dollars a month, um, this is a pretty uh, economical way to do it. So um, without further ado, further uh, chattering on my part. Let's get started because I'm, I'm pumped to uh, create this website and let's get on with, with the show.